younger, and I spoke it. I hissed it and tossed it and felt the thrill of it, greasing wild. Knew it rippling through the faces of black boys, making kingdoms for themselves. I spoke it and knew it by these faces. Knew what it was not, friends and jokers and long distance runners. I left a gap in the sentence for it. Old workshops with wool white men hung it on their front doors. Wanted, seeing it, to know it by gesture. The way it passes in the gale emitted. Guess it in the hearts of parasites. Feel it filling throats with fire. Speak and I'd know it, banging on oil drums behind the faces of friends. It was there, we were thirteen, but we knew. We knew. Older, and it threw me out. Towers above. Throws facts from its doorstep. So I drank it and spat it and lied about the taste. Was it, wasn't it, play-acted it for warmongers and mothers. Was afraid of it. Was span around once to face the other way. Waited years for the full circle. Knew it by the proxy of circumference. Was fed it as the chalk joke, the Chinese whisper of a word. Thrilled to type it, hated to say it, said it, felt the way it burned a room, longed to be better, buried it, had it spring from cupboards and frozen aisles to haunt, wore it, felt it a shame, grew from it, ripped it out of yobs, had it cracked over my head, pulled the guts from it, learnt of its mass, its weak points, the way you bend your head when it catches fire, your knee, black tides billowing brutal and beloved as it is turned around and pointed back at the sea that failed it, taught it as difference, expulsed it, packaged it, branded it, sold it, took it back and pressed its foot against the neck of those that smelled of it. Hold it up to a light, stand beside its brazen flames, catch the shadows on the wall, no shame.